I'm Tawanda Coleman. As baby boomers start to reach retirement age, long-term care is becoming a reality for a lot of people and their aging parents. Attorney Zachary Gresco with the Higgins Firm is here to tell us more. Welcome. Thanks for having me. You're the newest member of the Higgins uh, team and long-term senior care is very important to you. Oh, absolutely. I, I started out doing defense work. Uh, representing doctors in hospitals and medical malpractice cases, moved over to representing injured people on the plaintiff side of things, and then from there moved on to doing long-term care work. So for me, it's really important and it's actually personal. All of my grandparents have been in nursing homes and, and unfortunately passed on in those nursing homes. And there was some elements of, um, of their stays at those facilities where they weren't provided the proper care. So for me, this is personal. Yeah, so you mentioned proper care. Explain what you mean by that. Sure, so the most important thing to know is that one size does not fit all when it comes to elderly patients. You know, someone in one room, that patient might be at risk of falling and their roommate might be at risk of developing bed sores and those two patients need to be treated very differently. So individualized care plans need to be put in place for each patient. It's not just something where you can develop a plan for all patients and apply it across the board, and that's really where we get into trouble. So what can someone do if they have a loved one in this type of facility, nursing, uh, nursing home or assisted living facility? Of course, well, the first thing they can do is to visit them frequently and be looking for signs of bed sores, of falls, of broken bones, of any other, other number of concerns. If you see something, say something. And if you do see something, then make sure to call the Higgins Firm or visit thehigginsfirm.com and speak to someone at our firm immediately. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Zachary. Thank you.